Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, my name is Nathaniel. But people call me Than. <laughs> For sure. Uh, okay. Name is Than, short for Nathaniel. Today we are going to fuck around. <laughs> We're just gonna play around a little today. I got these um, col uh, color correctors from LA Girl. And originally, so this is like the green one for redness, but they also make a mint one, which is just like lighter and brighter. And they didn't have that one in stock, so I just got this one, and and I'm just scared. <laughs> I'm just scared. I'm gonna try to mix it in with a little bit of the e.l.f. camo concealer, because, I don't know, I feel like it might just, like, lighten it up and make it a little bit more, like, I don't know, I just kind of want to, like, thin it down a little. It was just really hard to blend out of my face, and... Yeah, so we're gonna play with that. And then I also got the cool pink corrector for like under eyes, but I honestly, I don't know if it corrects enough. I feel like I need to get like the peach peach one, like super peachy to get rid of this um, under eye situation. Yeah, and then I kind of just wanna, I don't know, use some products that I maybe haven't used in a while and just, yeah, I just wanna like do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's gonna happen. I'm debating with myself <laughs> about what foundation I want to use on top of these correctors. Okay, so YSL All Hours, which is like long wearing matte foundation or Makeup Forever um, Reboot Foundation, which is more of like a skin finish, like more natural. I haven't used either in a while, so yeah, I don't know. First, let's mix this green one up and see also, I hate, hate, hate this. this brush tip. I hate this brush tip. It's messy. I feel like it's gonna get clogged. Cause this is a thick formula. It's like thick. Ugh. If you can even see, I don't know, but it's kind of just like pasty. So I just put some on my hand. Now I'm gonna take some of this e.l.f. concealer and just put like a dab. And I'm just gonna use my finger to mix this together. Now it's like a lovely avocado green. <laughs> God, I'm still figuring out the lighting situation. But now this is kind of a little bit more what I want. It's creamier or just like feels less pasty. I think we will use the Make It Forever Reboot on top of this. I feel like I didn't do a very good intro. <laughs> But I have really, I, did I even talk about my rosacea? I don't remember. Well, anyways, um, I have super rosy cheeks naturally. I also blush really easily. So my cheeks are always red no matter what. I mean, I just have rosy cheeks, okay? I was born red. Yes. <laughs> To be honest, <laughs> I feel like that actually really worked well, mixing it with the concealer, because it was just so, it was, it's straight up like green. So now let's try this pink concealer. This I'm not as scared of. I 
See, cause you squeeze it up and so much is left still on the brush tip. I hope this is focusing, but, and then it's like, is that gonna like harden and be gross? Oh. I think they were $5, so I didn't wanna spend a lot of money on them in case it didn't like work out. I'm sure, I mean, I know that Lancome has some um, color correctors, but I feel like those are probably gonna be like $40 each or something, and Urban Decay has some, but I don't know. Oh, I'm getting some on my bottom lashes. I didn't clip! I didn't clip my hair up! Oh no! Let's use the Dior concealer. And if you watch my other video, which you should, I gave this concealer a second chance and now I really like it. And it's the Dior um, Forever Skin Correct Concealer in the shade 00. Usually I feel like I need to put extra concealer here, or sometimes rather, not all the time, but I've liked it for my videos. <laughs> and I don't know, it actually looks pretty, um, looks like a lot more even than usual. So I'm just gonna leave it and see what happens when I, I guess I could add more concealer. Oh shit, I usually do foundation first, don't I? Well, things are just crazy today. <laughs> I feel like usually concealer first um, blends better on top of foundation. I don't know, I haven't done it the other way in a long time, I don't even know. But we'll just blend this out because it's here, so. <laughs> Makeup Forever Reboot, and this is the shade um, R208. I think this is the lightest cool shade, the red, lightest red or rose or whatever, but um, they might have added more shades. I think it launched with a pretty extensive range, so. I haven't used it in a long time. It's coming out. <laughs> it's coming out a little weird, but whatever. I'm so self-conscious about blending my jawline now because in my last video it was <laughs> it got so weird over in this corner so I'm gonna make sure it's all blended this time oh, this foundation smells so good I just kind of want to get a brow on. <laughs> like, just gonna take some of the milk brow gel. Hopefully everything is okay. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Labs under eye powder. This is the shade one or something. It's all rubbed off. This is the cheapest fucking Pat McGrath packaging that she's like ever come out with. <laughs> it's so, but this powder is good. I'm just gonna contour quick with the Roman contour and the Shakuta brush. Yeah. 
blush, hourglass ambient um, lighting blush, and luminous flash. Word, bronzer, and Terra. Sonya G Smooth Buffer Ambient Lighting Powder from Hourglass and Ethereal Light. For highlighter, I'm going to try um, one of my old Becca highlighters because I don't know, I'm just curious to see how I feel about them now. I haven't used them in like, I don't know, maybe like two years. And I feel like Becca is a brand that's kind of just been struggling. <laughs> I don't know, they made that weird like zero foundation that was basically just like a jar of like clear silicone primer. I don't even, but let's try the highlighter. It's a classic. This is dusty. <laughs> Shimmering Skin Perfector Press Powder in Vanilla Quartz. I mean, really good packaging. I think it'll look better once I spray my face and melt everything in. I want to go in with one of my Pat McGrath palettes, the Divine Rose one. And just do a cute, nice... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to use um, this Tom Ford quad because I kind of felt like this um, minty shade might go with like some of the colors in my sweater. There's kind of like some minty greens in here. Plus we're doing like a green color corrector test or whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this green everywhere pretty much. Now I'm gonna take this Sonia G brush. This is the Crease Pro makeup, you know, eyeshadow looks are not my thing. Like, I just do really simple stuff, but I'm gonna do the brownie goldie color. But you know what, from this palette, I am gonna take the glitter, this glitter shade here. And I'm gonna put that on the inside, inner part of my lid and swipe it across the top too. My signature style. From what I can see, I think the corrector did 
um, help even out the redness more than it would just with my foundation. Like I can still see it, but I also did kind of like do a sheer layer. I wouldn't really want to like shellac that shit on like every time I did my makeup, you know? But I mean, it looks better than it, <laughs> than it did. <laughs> like when I was trying it the other day. This is the see-through matte tint from Romand from the hum Humboldt collection, Humboldt collection in flower coral. I think I'm gonna do some of this. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and apply it with my fingers just lightly. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna put a gloss on top. pretty <laughs> I mean honestly like if you haven't seen my last video I don't know what you're doing cuz it's comedy gold all right I found out how to put sound effects in and <laughs> insert clips and things so anyways you should watch my last video <laughs> and all my videos and fucking subscribe come on I see all you fucking people I'm getting like 40 views on like my videos and I have 20 subscribers so Oh, I see you. I see y'all not subscribing. sweater yes it's valentino in conclusion my first impression with these well i guess it's kind of like my second impression but i i don't know the pink one i'm like eh, about the green one i really like after i mix it with um that can that elf concealer so i think i'll keep testing it by using that method and see how it works with some other foundations but under this Makeup Forever Foundation. It's looking nice. But anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> or thanks for watching, I should say. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with that or whatever, but yes, please subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and ring the fucking bell, and follow me on Instagram. All right, okay, bye.